Uh, this time, a big emphasis is on EU competitiveness with two big countries, France and Spain, taking over industrial strategy and uh, competitive transition. Von der Leyen also tried to address the fears of the future of the European New Green Deal by creating several, albeit potentially overlapping positions that deal with uh, environment and climate. At the beginning, it seemed like von der Leyen uh, was going to have difficulties uh, delivering on her promise of a gender balanced commission. With some last minute uh, negotiations, mostly with smaller member states, most prominently Slovenia, she in the end was able to deliver on 11 uh, female candidates out of 27, which is a much better result than it was initially expected. There is uh, some controversy around nominating the Italian candidate Raffaele Fito as one of the executive vice presidents. He is a member of the far-right Brothers of Italy, and this has raised concerns about potential cooperation uh, of, uh, by von der Leyen with the far right. One of the most surprising things was the last minute withdrawal of candidacy for the French candidate, Thierry Berton, who was already a commissioner in the previous commission and was expected to have this position uh, also in this term. Uh, this was announced uh, yesterday and quickly replaced by a new candidate, um, Stéphane Sejourné, who is currently the French uh, foreign minister. There are also three highly expected um, new uh, commission positions. Uh, one of them, of course, is the position of the Defence and Space Commissioner, which has gone to Lithuania. Uh, this can be interpreted as a clear sign from von der Leyen, but also in general by the European Union of uh, doubling down on its uh, defense capabilities and continued um, support for Ukraine. Another thing to note is the creation of a commissioner exclusively for enlargement, uh, which shows that this topic will continue being on top of EU's agenda. The position will be held most probably by uh, a candidate from Slovenia, which also shows that uh, there is potential for new momentum uh, in the Western Balkans, as Slovenia was one of the vital voices to bring candidacy status for Bosnia and Herzegovina.